I think that's a new girl. She's pretty nice, isn't it? She sure is. Listen, fix me up, will you? Huh? Sure. Is going to be there? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. That's nice. I thought that. Uh... Well, I'll probably see you there. Okay. Why did you ask her? I don't know. I... Well, look, maybe she don't want to go with me. Well, man, you'll never know if you don't ask. Yeah. Why don't you watch where you're going? You're a little clumsy today, aren't you, Leela? Let me help you. Thanks. Look, don't pay too much attention to her. She's kind of funny. Funny haha, -ha, funny strange. Where are you from? Portland. Portland, it's a nice town. Oh, what's your name? Wanda. Wanda Anderson. Wanda Anderson. I'm Matt Stevens, and this is Cricket. Hi. Hi. If you're ready to go, we'll walk out with you. Okay. get on the ball and move in pretty soon. Somebody else will. Wait, look, what am I going to say to her? Just see if she wants to go to the movies with you tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. What do I have to do? Ask her for you? No, Kelly, I'll ask her myself. Okay. I'll see you at the class. Hey, come on, are you going to vote for me? Well, yeah. I sure want to see Matt's student body president. Well, you're not helping the cause any standing here. Now, you listen to me. I've got better things to do than put up with your fits of temper. You pull another little stunt like that, honey, and you've had it. You got that? All right. Now then, I want you to line Cricket up with Wanda for tomorrow night. Who? Wanda, the new girl. Tell her we'll meet her at the wagon about 8 o'clock. That's what I like about you, honey. You know, what you want and how to get it. I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll see you later.
Get to be a student by a treasure? Yeah, I think so. You'll be even more important to me then. Everything okay, Freddy? Yeah, Dusty. Just fine. We'll be down here in a minute. That's it. Is that all of them? Uh, Are you doing anything tomorrow night? Well, I was just kind of wondering if. Well, would you go to the movie with me? Yes, Bob. Oh, you would? Ah, Homer. Have you? Hi, Matt. Principal of Wilson High School, I'm very happy to be able to announce that you have elected for treasurer Homer Davis. <laughs> Better known to all of you as Cricket. <laughs> and for student body president, Matthew Stevens. Sorry about the election. That's the way to Better luck next time, Billy. Thanks. right-hand man to the president. That's the way it goes. Hey, you guys are ready for the race Saturday? Are ready and waiting. I guess the only thing Matt hasn't taken over now is our drag races. Are they dangerous? No, not really. We do it just for the fun of it anyway. I don't know if anybody wants to win bad enough to get themselves killed. Them. That's for sure. Do the rest of the fellows know about it? Yeah, Rod and I spread the word this afternoon. We'll make sure the guys keep it quiet. We don't want Stevens horning in. some catch to it if he has anything to do with it. Well, gang, I gotta go. I gotta cram for an exam tomorrow. If I don't, I'll be a senior the rest of my natural life. Yeah, you're not the only one. Let's shag out of here. Can I take you home? Sure. Hey, Kelly? Yeah? What's the rush? You got a free coat waiting for you. Thanks. I can still afford to buy my own. Matt? 
When are you going to fix me up with Wanda? Tomorrow night, buddy. Tomorrow night. Good morning, Lucy. My goodness, you're in a good mood this morning. Well, why shouldn't I be? I got the best cook in the whole world. Oh, go on with you and eat your breakfast before it gets cold. All right. Hey, how about some music? All right, what do you want to hear? Well, you know what I like. You pick it out. And send Carter in, will you? Yes, Matthew. <clears throat> you wanted to see me, sir? Is the car ready? Yes, sir. Washed? Yes, sir. I just want to remind you, Carter, that I don't intend to drive the car if I ever find it in the condition it was yesterday. No, sir. No, I mean, yes, sir. And one more thing. If you can't perform your duties to my satisfaction, then I'll just have to replace you. It won't happen again, sir. Is that all? wrong with your breakfast, Matthew? No, really, it's fine, Lucy. I'm just not hungry. Did you uh, write your folks that you was elected president of the student body? Why should I? They don't care. Now, Matthew. Listen, I gotta run. You know something, though, Lucy? I've been looking at you and you're getting prettier every day. I just expect to walk in here one day and find that one of your boyfriends is up and carry you off for good. Oh, now you go on. I'll see you later. like that boy's folks ought to stay home instead of gallivanting all over Europe in places like that. Well, I don't blame them. If I had a brat like that, I'd take off too. You just don't understand Matthew. Oh, I've got him pegged all right. I just wanted to tell you that you're a crickets girl and you're to meet up tonight at the hangout at 8 o'clock. See you. Hey, what's the big idea? Nobody tells me who I've got a date with. You'd better watch your step, honey. Those were orders from Matt. You listen to me. You or nobody else is going to tell me what to do. So you can just tell your Mr. Matt Stevens to drop dead. Hi, man. Look, knock that on. I'll make it look like a normal conversation or I won't bother with you. I need an English lit test. I don't have time to study over the weekend. Look, I don't care if you've got time to study or not. Give Cricket $10. Tell him exactly what kind of test you want. He'll have it for you Monday. $10? I didn't think there were that much. Take it or leave it. I don't know whether I could raise up that much money or not. Could I pay you part now and part later? Listen, I'm running a business, not a charitable organization. Now, no money, no test. I'll try to get it. Make the arrangements with Cricket. Okay, man. How's the president this morning? Good, baby. Did you talk to Wanda yet? What? Did you talk to Wanda yet? Oh, yeah. Everything's all set. I just saw her. Everything's all set. That's my girl.
man. I'd say about $20. Well, that's great. Well, you can take five. Not now, you idiot. You take some of the small bills and look funny if the big ones are missing. Okay. okay. Be careful, will you? You see, I told you, as treasurer of the student body, you're going to be very important to me. Matt, I thought you had me fixed up with Wanda. Well, you're not going and relax, will you? You are fixed up with Wanda. Lita set it up. She's going to meet you at the wagon at eight. Are you sure? Sure. Oh, hi, Charlie, uh, Mr. Burnett. Well, Homer, how's the mascot money coming along? Oh, uh, just fine. I'd say about uh, $15. I'll count it again to make sure. Well, at that rate, it won't take long to buy the dog. Uh, if you see Matthew, Homer, would you have him drop by my office? Okay, Mr. Burnett, I'll tell him. Hey, Matt. Johnny wants to see you. Oh, all right. Now, what do you think's wrong? Relax, will you? Nothing. He probably just wants my advice on something. But he looked funny. I'll take care of it. Now, you got the money? Yeah. serious problem in this school. Students roughed up, school books and personal property damaged, that sort of thing. Have you heard anything about it? Well, sir, not directly. I heard a couple of the kids talking about it in the halls, but well, I didn't think it was anything to worry about. I believe it is. As president of the student body, you might be able to help me, Matthew. Well, I certainly will if I can, sir. Somehow, I've got to find out who or what is causing all this and put a stop to it. Now, students that I've talked to either can't or, or won't give me any information. Well, sir, just what do you want me to do? As a student, it'd be a lot easier for you to find out just what this is all about than it would be for me. I see. Well, let me check around, and if I hear anything, I'll report right back to you. Thanks, Matt. I knew I could count on you. You certainly can. Is that all, sir? That's all. Fine. Thank you, sir. Can I see it again, Matt? <laughs> okay. Wow, look at that. It's pretty, isn't it? $75 for one week's take. I can't believe it. We've got a lot of things going for us now. We've got the dance on Fridays, we got the protection insurance, and my file of tests. Yeah. Boy, you got a chatterhead eating right out of your hands. I don't see how you do it. Like this. <laughs> hey, listen, you want a couple of bucks for your date, and then you can pick up the rest of your 10% of meeting tomorrow night. Could I, Matt? Then I could really show Juan a good time. Sure. Listen now, how much are you going to make this week? Oh, let's see. 10% of 75. I got lost. It's 750. Really? Cricket, you're going to have to learn to use that head of yours because if you don't, somebody's going to cheat you out of something before you get it figured out. Now, here. Thanks, Matt. Oh, like I promised you, for your date tonight. Well, you didn't think I was going to let you use this one, did you? Yeah, uh, I did, Matt. Nobody drives Dad's car, except me. Come on, take the hot ride. Okay, Matt. Whatever you say. See you tonight at the wagon. Okay.
Lucy? Carter? Lucy? Carter! Lucy, are you here? Matt, I thought you had me fixed up with Wanda. That's right, buddy. Well, it sure don't look like it. She's in there with Bob. Well, don't look at me. Come on, we'll see about it. sister, your date's waiting for you. She's with her date. Shut up. Now look. Look yourself. I don't know what goes in this town, but I don't want any part of it. I happen to be with my date, Mr. Stevens. And not you or any of your flunkies are going to tell me what to do. I told Chris. And I don't take orders from anybody. And especially from a pampered little pup like you. Really? 
Hey, knock it off! I've been all fighting in my place. You guys got something to settle. Settle it outside. Okay, big man. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Let's get out of here. We'll settle it later, Mr. Williams. Anybody want to bet on the sure winner? Yeah. Hey, what's a hot tip? Ah, uh, me. Oh, really now, Bob? Well, we'll just wait and see. The guy down at the auto store put a new compression head on her, and he said she'll be a sure winner. You know, you're going to spend a fortune on that bomb if you listen to those guys. Well, we'll just wait and see if it's worth it. Hey, Good where's B? She's babysitting. I'm going to pick her up after the races. Okay, let's get ready for the first race. Okay, let's go! I told you so! $2 entry fee for this next race, play cricket. Just a minute, Stevens. Nobody asked you to come out. We're doing fine all by ourselves. And we're not paying an entry fee to you or anybody else. That's right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not paying. I didn't think you would. All right, just, just wait a minute now. This is going to be a little different. When there's prize money, you always have an entry fee. Now, I'm putting up this gold coin as first place money. You all have seen it. It's worth $100, probably more. Now, everybody that wants in on it, line up here and pay cricket your $2. We can't all run in one race. Why not? Because it's dangerous. But let's just run two or three cars at a time, we'll clock out the winner. No, no, no. We'll run them all at once. Now, if you don't have the stomach for it, then you just don't enter. Hey, who's going to hold the prize money? Uh, when I win it, I want to make sure I'm going to get it. I'll hold the money. All right. But I'll be back to pick it up. It's pretty important. My dad gave it to me. Man, you shouldn't have put up your gold coin. Will you relax? They haven't got a chance against this car, you know that. Now go collect that money. If you say so. All right, listen, everybody up here. Now, this is not going to be a drag race because the track is too short. So we're going to go around three complete times. A road race. You got that? Cricket will start us off. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
got something to give away. Well, congratulations, Kelly. Where'd you go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's knock it off for the day. Boy, I wish B would have been here to see that. Yeah, me too. Say, uh, who has the Marcus Sachs anyway? Oh, I don't know. I don't have them. Well, I wonder who had them last. I think they're up the other end of the strip. I'll get them. Do you need any help? No, I'll pick up B and see you guys at the hangout.
shouldn't have done it, Matt. You shouldn't have done it. What do you mean, me? I didn't do it. You saw it. The tire blew. It was an accident. Cricket luck. My dad gave me this coin. It used to be his good luck piece. Oh, I sure didn't help Kelly any, did he? You're not going to take it with you, are you, Matt? Now, you listen to me. Now, we're in this thing together. Do you understand that? Huh? Now, nobody's going to believe us, so we can't say a word about it. Not one word. Now, we didn't do it. It wasn't our fault. I've got that. Yeah, yeah, Matt. Sure. Oh, he probably had some trouble with that bomb of his. <laughs> with that car, I wouldn't doubt it. The darn thing's so temperamental. He's probably standing someplace with a wrench in his hand, cussing up a storm. Let's go see if we can find him. All right. on the table behind you. Was there anything else? I mean, a letter or something? No, sir, just the check. Overseas operator, please. Yes, sir. Oh, no, it, it's Kelly. He's had a wreck. I've got to talk to Dad. Didn't the check arrive? No, I, I got the money. It's not that. I'm sorry, Matthew. He's not here. Don't you know when he's coming back or anything? Well, Mr. Stevens flew to Switzerland yesterday, and he didn't say when he'll be back. Yeah, he's always gone. Shall I have him call you as soon as he returns? No, no. No, that's all right. Just, just forget it. I'm sorry, Matthew. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. Take it down and have it fixed. Yes, sir. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Do it right now. Now, sir? I don't understand. Why? You don't have to. Just do it. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hate for him to get killed like that. That's a trouble our school. All right, what's wrong? Matt, did you hear about Kelly? Yeah, I heard about it. <laughs> Funny accident, huh, Matt? Now, what's that crack supposed to mean? Gee, I, I thought you were mad about losing the coin at the races. Well, sure I was, because I thought I could win it back. That doesn't make any difference. You can always buy another one. I got a surprise for you. Lita? Mascot of Wilson Senior High School. Cricket and I got him this afternoon. Have we got the money for him yet? No, but we will have. I just wanted to show him to my gang early, so don't don't mention it. I'll introduce him to the student body at the dance on Friday. It's supposed to be a surprise. All right, let's get the meeting started. Now, any of you that want a test or a theme, see me right after the meeting, because from now on, you're welcome to my files for nothing. Over here. Outsiders still pay five to ten dollars. <laughs> up to this point, we've been pretty lenient about these dues. We let them lag a couple of weeks behind. But from now on, they pay on time, or we're going to work them over good. All right, there's some dancing and refreshments in the next room. Meeting's adjourned. Don, what can I do for you? I need a biology test, too. Is that a new instructor? Yes. When is the test? Monday at 10.30. Hawk, go get Lita. I'll tell you what, Don, go on into the party and then check with me before you leave tonight. Thanks, man. Hi, Anne. Hi. I'd like an English one test, ma'am. English one. That's it, isn't it? Thank you. <laughs> you want to see me, Matt? Yeah, honey. They run off any new biology tests this week? Yeah, I just finished them yesterday. In the story. Thanks. All right. Payday. Hey, man. Thank you, Matt. Here's your cut. A little something extra. It's something that you're going to have to do. Slick, you and Hawk stick around. You two yeah. go. We need a couple of biology two tests for the files. You want us to get them? Yeah. Now here's the key to the office. This one is to the building outside, and this one to the storeroom. Okay, man. We'll be right back. Save some food for us. Be mm -hmm. careful now. Okay. Hawk. Leave everything just like it was. Look, you don't have to worry about a thing. How's it going, buddy? Oh, okay, man. Here's the rest of your cut of this week's take. Thanks. You'll be happy to know I upped you from 10 to 15% a week. Really? Now you're going to have to work on figuring 15% in your head. I haven't even whipped 10% yet. <laughs> Come on, let's go inside.
will. Yeah. Take a couple out of the middle. They always write something on the ones on top. Okay. I got it. enough to see who we were. We didn't think it mattered, since he didn't recognize us. It didn't matter. You stupid idiots. Don't you realize that after you broke that window, they've checked everything? They're gonna change every lock and every test in this building. Gee, hmm? Mac, we're sorry. You're sorry. Do you have any idea how long it took me to get those keys and those tests? together, maybe we can do something. It might work. At least we would have a better chance of proving Matt was the guy responsible. Well, let's pass the word around to the kids that we know we can trust. Meet tonight at my house about uh, 8 o'clock. Okay. I don't think I'll come, Bob. How would you like to have you there, B? I'll come by your place and we'll walk over together, okay? Okay. All right, fine. We'll see you guys later. I got a committee meeting. Besides, he didn't ask me, he told me. Well, if you're not interested in going with Cricket to the party, then why don't you go with me? Is this a trick so I'll end up as Cricket's date? No. no, I just want you to go with me, that's all. Well, what about Lita? Give her to Cricket. Oh. Well, what kind of presents do you like? Why do you have to bring a gift? Let's just say that you'll be my present. I'm really not interested. As far as I'm concerned, you're even more repulsive than Cricket is. Did you have any luck? No. No. A bunch of kids are getting together over at Bob's place tonight. She's probably going over there. Matt, you said that Wanda could be my girl. Well, how, how come she isn't? Look, forget it, will you? Yeah, but if you're such a big man, why can't you set it up like you said you would? Okay, you got it. Tonight. Really? Really. Come on. Hey, 
Hey, can I give you a lift? Oh, that won't be necessary. I'm not going very far. Come on, I just want to give you a ride. Just leave me alone. I wouldn't think of it. You're pretty good at a walk. Will you get in? Well, let's get going, Cricket. Look, just settle down, huh? It's just that when I offer a girl a ride, I like to have her accept, that's all. Where to, Matt? I don't care where you're going, but I'm going to be Johnson. Really? Are you? Let's go someplace nice and quiet. Like the Lakewood Park Road. Cricket. Where's Martha? Well, I don't know. I called her at home. She didn't answer. Huh. I probably just missed her. Yeah, probably. We'll start the meeting in a minute anyway. Had a nice little drive. Come on, please take me home. But baby, we just got here. Oh, take your hands off me! All right, I like that. Leave her alone, Matt. Look, you mind your own business, will you? Yeah, but she's supposed to be my girl. Oh, really? Well, I just changed my mind. Yeah, but Matt, you got Lita. No, you got Lita. From now on, this is my dish. Yeah. But, but Matt, we're supposed to be buddies. Look, stupid, leave us alone, will you? Yeah, but Matt, you promised me to... Well, get out of here. We want to be alone. Can't you understand that? Oh. Matt, you said that we're... Get out of here. Have a little mood music, huh? <laughs> you you killed Kelly. Hey, look, come on. Are you kidding? I got a whole stack of coins at home. It doesn't mean anything. Wanda? Hey, where are you? Hey, come on back.
supposed to be here. It's a party. It's my birthday party. this far? And where is everybody? Hey, Slick? Hey, Slick Dusty, come on. I, I got a job for you. It's just like old times. Hey, come on. Where is everybody? I don't need any of you. I never did need you. You needed me. I could always get along without anybody. Without anybody. Listen, 
Look, Bob, it was an accident. I swear, I swear it was an accident. I just waited for him to talk to him to try to get the coin back. I really didn't mean to try to... wasn't my fault. Cricket? Not you too, Cricket. Cricket! Yeah. 